Good afternoon. A few days ago, uh, with the ongoing discussion about unidentified anomalous phenomena, that's the new terminology for UFOs, and with it, some very uncomfortable and inconvenient discussions for people of faith. I saw a very intriguing video across my path on YouTube, and it was discussing a theme in the film Prometheus, part of the Alien series that goes, of course, all the way back to uh, the late 70s with Sigourney Weaver. Now, I hadn't seen Prometheus in a long time, although a few years ago when I turned 40, I was given the complete Alien series. See, I've got it right here. So anyway, I watched uh, this video about the engineers in the Alien series, a highly advanced uh, civilization which seeded Earth with genetic material, which via the process of evolution gave rise to, of course, humanity. And the engineers would check in on humanity uh, periodically throughout its development, seeing that humanity was very violent. They just would create destruction uh, and all of this. And anyway, in the course of uh, this video, there was some dialogue cut, apparently, from the uh, film Prometheus because it was just too controversial. And in the film Prometheus, they go to this planet, they find one of the engineers who's been uh, in some kind of hibernation or sleep for thousands of years, and he tells the android David, again, this is in material that's been cut from the film, we took one of your own around 2,000 years ago, and we taught him what it meant to live in peace and harmony, and we sent him back, and he was killed by you. Uh, not being a so subtle uh, reference to, of course, Yeshua or Jesus. Now, uh, I've got that video linked on messianicapologetics.net. You can watch it uh, and you can sort through it yourself. But one of the very uncomfortable topics, which is going to come up from unidentified anomalous phenomena, extraterrestrials, is how do we know that Yeshua, Jesus, wasn't just an alien? Things that were perceived to be miracles. Well, that's just the application of certain healing frequencies. This whole idea of his death and resurrection. How do we know he just didn't go into some kind of hibernation? Uh, and all of these themes have been uh, circulating in a great deal of our popular science fiction. Now, I'm just putting this out there right now to show you uh, how complicated things are going to get. And indeed, uh, if you are a science fiction buff, you probably are already aware of this. If you haven't paid attention to uh, popular uh, science fiction, at the very least, things like Star Trek, Star Wars, uh, Battlestar Galactica, Babylon 5, things like that, you are not going to be in a very strong position to help reason through uh, some of the things which younger people are going to raise. And indeed, I would stress, as disturbing as this is and as upsetting as the question, well, how do we know Jesus wasn't just an alien? If you just go off half-cocked saying, well, all of this is just demonic deception and all of this alien stuff is just demons, because of how advanced some of these questions are and complicated some of these questions are, if you do that, many younger people will just dismiss you as being small-minded, closed-minded, and even primitive. And that's not what we want. We want, as Bible believers, to have reasoned answers, and that requires us to 
sort through some of the details ourselves. As we all know, this whole issue of unidentified anomalous phenomenon is very new. It's ongoing, and I want to do my best to have some open and honest conversations about it with all of you.